One year ago, I said this man would become the next superstar in the world of striking. All he needed to become the next Buakau, I said, was historic fights for the world to witness his talent. Ladies and gentlemen, that moment has arrived. Destruction team tie from Olivier Cost. Oh, good night, Irene! Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Striking Breakdowns. With the greatest kickboxer of all time dethroned, the new king of kickboxing is here. His name is Superbon Banchimek, the Thai Superman. There are incredible techniques that set up the epic knockout. But before our epic breakdown, which I promise will be brilliant, let's get to know the story of these legends first. Giorgio Petrosian isn't just a legendary kickboxer, he's known as the greatest of all time because he is the perfect fighter. He's so flawless and so surgical in his fights that they call him the doctor. As the owner of a 6 year and 42 fight win streak, he holds one of the most dominant reigns in kickboxing history. His record, prior to the Superbomb fight, is 102 wins and 2 losses. But it should really be 104 wins with no losses. This is because he got drugged in one fight and in the other, the opponent tampered with his gloves. Unlike what most people think, Petrosian was actually a Muay Thai fighter first before becoming a kickboxer. He dominated the kickboxing arena by pairing the brilliance of Muay Thai with the best of boxing. From Muay Thai, he had rock solid defense and the ability to use its timing and rhythm to counter all of his kickboxing opponents. From boxing, he had the ability to land beautiful punching combinations that resulted in many knockouts. With authentic Muay Thai training paired with elite boxing, he dominated the best of kickboxing for more than a decade. Petrosian was also able to fight several of Thailand's Muay Thai champions and either defeat them or fought to a draw. By his fourth year in fighting, he fought Boakau in his prime to a draw for a world title. This is a huge accomplishment for the start of this professional career. And that's where Superbon's story really begins too, with the heroic Boakau. You see, Superbon was about to give up his career as a fighter. Now, we all know Superbon as the fighter who knocked out the great Giorgio Petrosian. Before that, Superbon got famous for being the only fighter who can school train a gay. The most intimidating trainer in Muay Thai. Superbon was also the only person who could outscore Sanchai in technical sparring. But most people don't know that he was abandoned as a fighter from his original gym. He was making $20 a day when Boakau changed all of that. Boakau took him under his wing and soon after, Superbon began fighting in international kickboxing matches. Since being mentored by Boakau, he's had two major blemishes on his record. In 2016, he was knocked out by Sitachai, but the Thai Superman has since avenged his loss twice. Beating Sitachai is significant because Sitachai has been considered the best Thai fighter in kickboxing for many years. By beating Sitachai, Superbon became the most technically dominant Thai fighter in kickboxing. But in 2018, Marat Grigorian, a champion that beat Sitachai four times, knocks Superbon out. Marat Grigorian has also been on an unstoppable rise, avenging his loss against Sitachai and dominating other opponents since. So the rematch of Marat and Superbon is highly anticipated by the world of striking. As for Superbon, he has not lost since being knocked out by Gregorian. Coming off a 10 fight win streak, including a fresh victory against Sitachai, I knew he was technically better than Petrosian. In fact, it was not hard to predict that Superbon's style would be difficult for Petrosian to handle. This is because Borkow gave Petrosian a lot of trouble and Superbon is widely considered Borkow 
The protege has a similar shot selection to Borkow. But Superbon is even more evolved with better eyes. Although not as much of a tank as Borkow, Superbon has much better speed, offense, and defense. The Thai Superman was a bad match of Petrosian, and Petrosian knew it too. Right from the beginning of the historic match, Superbon landed a beautiful cross to the head kick chain. He was able to control the range with his teeps. He was even able to counter Petrosian's kicks with his punches. When Petrosian pressures, he'd meet his charge with a spearing knee. The first round was close, but Superbon would edge out Petrosian in almost every exchange or just outstrike him from the outside. The most brilliant technique to analyse though is how Superbon sets up his knees and roundhouses to the head. In fact, it's very hard to distinguish whether he's kneeing to the head or throwing a roundhouse to the head. This is what created the historic knockout. In the finishing sequence, Petrosian engaged with a double jab with one landing flush. Then after Petrosian threw a cross, Superbon threw a roundhouse from a very close range. It's abnormal to throw a roundhouse in this range, but this is Superbon's speciality. This was also Borkow's speciality, as he's landed a rib shot knockout with it. Note that Petrosian is in a crouched stance here, and he remains in the pocket as Superbon is kicking. Then notice how Superbon was able to knee Petrosian's head with the roundhouse. This is called a roundhouse knee in Muay Thai. This special technique is very important for what's about to happen next. Superbon fires another roundhouse, which Petrosian blocks with both forearms to fire back across. Having studied Petrosian beforehand, Superbon knew Petrosian's signature cross counter was coming. He slips the punch while throwing a left hook and lands flush. With Petrosian still in the crouch stance and in close range once again, Superbon throws another one of his special roundhouses. Petrosian, thinking he would get knee to the head once again, leans back without any guard to the head and gets hit flush by the high kick. This resulted in an epic knockout. If Petrosian didn't think it was a knee, he wouldn't have leaned back like that from a close range crouch stance. If Petrosian thought it was a roundhouse to the head, he would have put his hands up even as he leans back. I have not seen anyone note this very brilliant technique and very nuanced sequence. It is certainly one of the most advanced kickboxing sequences I have ever seen. Everyone commented on how Superbon targeted the arms and then fired it to the head. But on its own, such a strategy would be too simple to actually defeat the greatest of all time. It's how Superbon could fire a special roundhouse from such a close range. It was how Superbon could knee a crouched Petrosian with his special roundhouse. It was the series of pattern creating and then a pattern breaking that created this historic knockout. When this head kick landed, Superbon immediately knew he won the fight. It was also really heartwarming to see Trainer Gay celebrate the same way Superbon celebrated. The humble warrior who almost gave up fighting made history on this night. He knew his life will never be the same after this fight. He knows that he's now the face of the fight game, especially in Thailand. With this match won in such a historic way, Superbon became the next Borkow. Fight fans, welcome Superbon Banchamek to the throne. The Thai Superman has arrived. What do you think of this historic match between Superbon and Petrosian? We love Superbon's story and his flawless technique. We also hope Petrosian has a fast recovery and can claim the throne once again when he recovers. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please watch another episode of Striking Breakdowns. I'm Lawrence Kenshin, and thank you for keeping our channel alive.